Seya Deputy Governor William Oduol now says he's ready to make peace with Governor James Orengo in the event Senate fails to impeach him. However, he says should they fail to bury the hatchet, he will be the official opposition leader in the Orengo administration. As the Senate prepares to begin its two-day hearing of the impeachment of Seya Deputy Governor William Oduol, the embattled deputy says he is ready for his do or die moment. If Senate upholds, upholds the decision of the county assembly, that will somewhat mark my political uh, career. So there is a lot of uh, betrayal and dishonesty uh, in, in politics. Odol, who appears to have fallen out with the ODM party, says the turn of events less than a year since their election is not a surprise and feels like the Orange Party has always treated him as a political stepchild. In 2013, both Odwal and Senator Dr. Oburu Oginga were denied ODM ticket for CIA governorship following disputed party nominations with the ODM handing Colonel Rasanga a direct ticket in what was termed as Solomonic ruling. Whatever it is, whatever sins that I have committed, the people of Zaire believe that I have paid enough price for whatever sins I may have committed. They um, uh, expelled me or attempted to expel me uh, the other day. A seemingly angered Odwal says he has invested heavily in the party and deserves equal treatment like any other member. My uh, vehicle got burnt, uh, my Prado, that I had branded uh, in, in, in his uh, uh, portraits, got burnt in, uh, in, in this campaign. All the money I had I put into this campaign. Was I thought that we were a proper, perfect ticket. James Orengo's legal mind, fine legal mind, and William Woodwell's uh, corporate background, if you, you know, combined those two, we were going to take Syria very far. The deputy governor admits their relationship with Governor Orengo is at an all-time low, February being the last time they sat together. My difference with him is ideological. If he wants us to work and provide service to the people of Syria, I am ready and willing to sit down with him and provide service to the people of Syria. But if he becomes difficult, if he becomes the senior boy that he has been, I assure you, William Woodwell will hold him 100% accountable. I will become the official leader of opposition in Zaya County and ensure that the people of Zaya get the service they deserve. That's what I'm going to do. People think that I will not have the job. I will be the official opposition leader in Zaya County. Odwal says he is not afraid as he walks into the Senate political gallows. That might either dim his political star or survive the impeachment news dangling over his head. If I am going to be sacrificed because I'm fighting for the people of Zaya, I am prepared. If that is the price that I have to pay as William Odwal for standing for the people of Zaya. Duncan Haemba, NTV.